mountains are great, but Charleston is very appealing to us today. Well, it looks like they're building another highway here. See the big pillars? What is a little bridge? Kind of looks like St. Augustine a little bit. It's old. at James Island County Park is a great place to RV camp if you want to visit Charleston, South Carolina. It's only about seven miles to the historic district and they even offer a shuttle service for 10 bucks, which if you take into account paying for parking is not a bad deal. The park is a large county park with a pool, boat rentals, hiking, biking, a dog park, they even sell propane. It really is an RV destination resort. It seemed great for kids. They have regular special events on the weekends, so check out the calendar before you go. The list price is about 65 bucks a night with full hookups, which isn't bad for what you get. If you've been to Charleston several times, really love the city, you can spend days just walking around. This trip we decided to visit Fort Sumter, something we had not done before, and it was a great day for a boat ride. Fort Sumter is a smoke-free environment, and this does include e-cigarettes. As a national park, it is against federal law to remove anything. Fort Sumter is known as the place where the opening shots of the Civil War were fired on April 12, 1861. The build-up to the shooting war there is a very interesting story. After South Carolina seceded, who should own the fort, South Carolina or the federal government? Not being much of a Civil War scholar, I was surprised to learn that no Union soldiers were killed during the bombardment of the fort. Slavery is a horrible institution. I hope if I lived then, I would be loudly against it. British government ended slavery in the whole British Empire in 1833 with the Slavery Abolition Act, which ended slavery by 1838. This bill included 20 million pounds to pay the slave owners for their loss. Researching this, I found that there were even hereditary slaves for coal miners and salt makers in Scotland until 1799. They were sold with the mines they worked on. This cargo boat was um, docked a few minutes ago and now it looks like it's moving. Um, let's try to see if we can see what's on top of it. summertime. A group of kids over there. Here's a little gator swimming around. This park has a nice big lake. There's a really nice pool. If you hear noise in the background, they're cleaning around the pool area, so I'm not filming over there. But it's a beautifully maintained park. It's a county park right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. You know, it's, if you like RV resort 
type parks, this is it. Some little ducks floating around. Going down towards the gators. Sorry about the noise. You probably won't even hear it because I probably won't be able to use it. Yes, he's good. Eh, they actually stopped. What, are you going to go peck on him? Come on now, guys. It's getting a little long. We only spent two nights at this park, and most of a full day there was in Charleston. But we did enjoy riding our bikes around the park. Some of the things, like the spray pool, were closed, but there was enough to keep us occupied. And again, I think this would be a great place for family fun. So, we've officially been to South Carolina. We spent five nights in South Carolina, and now we feel like we can add our sticker to our United States map. So, we have four states now. Yay, South Carolina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got the slides in. Getting ready to go. Just ready to unhook the uh, water and electric. Well, we're packing up. Like I said earlier, it's a nice campground. It's a really beautiful park. A lot of amenities right outside Charleston. I mean, you know, the only issue, you really don't have any privacy. You're kind of in a RV type resort. Full hookups, we already dumped. Put the hose away. Thanks for watching.